the 2019 World Cup as dark horses. Their performance this year has given rugby fans a glimmer of hope and many are backing the men in green and gold to claim the trophy for a third time. CGT and CS Duplessis has more from Pretoria. It has been a positive year to date for the South African team. The new coach, Rassi Erasmus, has made an impact and is starting to see progress with his group of players with less than a year to go into the World Cup in Japan. And with five wins from nine matches, former Springbok hooker Gary Boerter is confident the Springboks are headed in the right direction. The great thing is uh, that uh, we, we try and get consistency and continuity, especially a year out from the World Cup. And I think that's what the, the stability that a coach like Rassi Erasmus brings. And obviously, if you look at our squad, you know, there's a, there's a couple of old heads uh, uh, that are still very young in age-wise, but they're a couple of old heads. The 14 Test veteran says that shifting the responsibility to the players by the Springbok coaching staff has made a massive difference to the performances from the 1995 and 2007 world champions. One thing that I've definitely picked up from the players that uh, I've spoken to uh, is uh, their approach towards the game. Uh, they making them think a bit more, taking more responsibility and executing in the technical uh, departments. South Africa's gallant efforts against New Zealand in the rugby championship has resulted in the mindset towards the three-time world champions and six-time rugby championship winners changing. It's a great eye-opener for us and I think for the world. Um, I'm not saying that the All Blacks aren't they are a very majestic team, they're very good and uh, I just think that, that, that sways people's opinion of that they are, un, are unbeatable. Puerta believes that the two-time champions will be title contenders at the World Cup and feels that the momentum built up this year bodes well for the tournament. Box will always uh, put their name in the hat for winning a World Cup. Um, we've done it a couple of times and uh, if we just continue with going the way we're going now and keep on stacking good stuff on good stuff, definitely in there for a shout. The performances in 2018 have given the Springbok supporters something to get excited about. With less than a year to go until the World Cup in Japan and after the victory over the All Blacks in Wellington and the narrow defeat to their old foe here at Loftus, the Springbok supporters will believe that when the tournament rolls around next year, the men in green and gold will be challenging for their third global title. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Pretoria.